I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? That was my skull. I'm so wasted. Is this proper? What is it that gets inside your heads? Uh, is this educational? Uh, no, but it sure is fun. Hey, bud. <laughs> Let's party. See Fast Times at Ridgemont High, where only the rules get busted. Rated R. Starts Friday, August 20th at theaters in your area. Check newspapers for showtime. Hey, this is Matt. Once again, welcome back to another video. There's another paid request, this time for Andrew Patterson. Thank you so much for that. For those interested in requesting any other type of videos or topics or reactions or reviews or anything random out of the blue, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Now, this is for Fast Times of Ridgemont High. Now, this is a film that I've seen before a couple times, and... I liked it. I always thought it was decent. It's not one of my favorite comedies. I wouldn't say I love the film. I think because at times the plot does feel like it's kind of... I don't want to say random, but... For certain characters, you get the feeling it's not really a story they're going... Like, I like Judge Reinhold. I don't know if I could really say he's having a story told, other than he gets fired, and then... Later on, he gets hired. I mean, it's he doesn't really have much of a story other than that, although he's fairly good in the film. Sean Penn as Spicoli is great. Again, his story is pretty much in class. He's always late for Ray Walston, who was in the old My Favorite Martian TV show. He's always late for his class. And... Then at the end, he is forced to learn for a couple hours by Ray Walsh. And you wasted eight hours of my time? Well, we're going to square our account tonight. But it's not like a whole lot comes out of that, except maybe he passes the class. It's not like, oh, he's going to change his ways or any of the sort. Jennifer Jason Lee does go out with this nicer guy. And by the end, it says that they're still going out, even though they haven't gone all the way. So I guess, you know, that's something has been achieved. But I mean, there are definitely a lot of memorable moments. Because again, it's this group of people. You got Judge Reinhold as this guy who's working in a restaurant, a burger place. Then this customer is being a complete douchebag. And I like the bit moment where he goes, this is about 100% satisfied breakfast. And I wasn't 100% satisfied. But you ate most of it. I don't care. I want my money back. Well, you have to fill out a form. I don't care. I'm tired. Of you wasted my time. If you don't shut up, I won't get 100% of this up your ass. <laughs> Again, that's a fun moment. And then he gets fired. Then he gets dumped. Gets dumped from Tina. Tina from the first ever on Elm Street dumps his ass. Amanda Wise. And... 
Then he's trying to figure out what to do. He gets a job as another food place, dressed up as a pirate. He gets humiliated. He dumps those clothes. There's a point where he's jerking off, imagining Phoebe Tate's taking her top off. Hey, I don't blame him. Then he gets caught. Although nothing really comes of that, of him getting caught. Like, story-wise, nothing ever comes of it. Like, him and Phoebe Tate's having a conversation, as awkward as it may be, or... She starts thinking about him differently, or... Again, really nothing comes of that. <clears throat> Great, it's the nicest use to see Phoebe Tate's titties. I can't blame her for that. Like I said, nothing really comes of it story-wise. <clears throat> Again, it's not like Phoebe Tate starts humiliate, humiliating him from then on, or stops poking at him from then on, or starts teasing him, or a love story starts, or any of the sort, not nothing. Uh, but the cast do a great job. I'm always, I've always been a fan of Judge Reinhold ever since I saw him in Beverly Hills Cop films. He had a bit role in Gremlins, he did a good job here. Sean Penn as Spicoli, you know, hitting the shoe against his head. <laughs> My skull! I'm so wasted! <laughs> Let's party, bud! All I need is taste way. All I need is tasty waves, cool buds, and I'm fine. And it's nice to see Sean Penn having fun. Because a lot of times with Sean Penn, it's just okay. The guy takes himself very, very seriously, extremely seriously. And whether it be in interviews, whether it be in movies, and not a lot of times after did he get to really. Take that serious burden off his shoulders and just let loose and have fun. And because I always think of him as a serious actor, and many people just think of him as a volatile actor, especially if you're taking pictures to him. But again, he really didn't do a lot of like goofy, silly roles, and it's a shame because he plays Spicoli fairly well to the point that. He's not the star of the film, but he's the cover and the promotion of this movie. Anytime you see a DVD, <clears throat> Spotoli is... And part of me wishes, man, it would have been fun if he was the lead. If we did follow his character. And for me, I think I would find the film even funnier. Granted, I like Judge Reinhold. Like, if it was more of the two of them and these differing... Where... People could relate to Judge Reinhold's character because they could relate to getting a job, having to grow up a bit, having to deal with responsibility. But then they could either relate or want not want Spicoli's life where he's just easy going and just wants to relax, have fun. Um, I, yeah, I wish more of the movie was just about those two. Maybe they're differing perspectives throughout the year of school at Ridgemont High. And maybe by the end, things change, things don't change. Or maybe like the differing buddy that like adventures. Because <clears throat> I, you know, I like Je Jennifer Jason Lee. I don't mind her story. But if someone were to tell me what's the least interesting aspect, it would be her story. I didn't hate it because I like Jennifer Jason Lee. She was in the original The Hitcher. She's 15, she loses her virginity because she lied and says she was 19. And then the guy doesn't call her back. Then she gets with this other guy, which I didn't mind this after, Robert Romanus. Romanus. Robert is a scalper for tickets. He thinks he's a ladies' man. I thought that actor did a good job. He starts going out with her with a bit for a bit. <clears throat> gets her pregnant. She wants help in getting the abortion. He... Can't get the money, so he ghosts her, so to speak. He stops paying attention to her. So she has to do it by herself. And then the nice guy, who's friends with this Robert, he finds out what he did to her and gets pissed. They're ready to have a fight, but then they don't have a fight. 
And then ultimately the nice guy gets with Jennifer Jason Lee. It's like that stuff is fine. But if you were to tell me that was not in the movie, I would not miss it. So I don't know if that made sense. Like the actors do their jobs fine. Again, it's just if you told me that was excluded at, for more time with Spicoli and with Judge Reinhold. Because um, really like the only time they talk to each other is at the very end. Did you see the burger? Hey Spicoli, maybe she did a job. And that's where Spicoli goes, Oh man, oh I need to taste the waves of cool buds. <laughs> And the stuff with Spicoli in class, there's some fun stuff, like Ray Walston tearing up his little form and him just going, you dick. <laughs> or him ordering a pizza to class and Ray Walston takes the pizza and goes, oh, guess you order enough for the rest of us. Come take this slice, class. <laughs> you do have appearances from other people. Forrest Whitaker as his football player. You know, don't fuck with it. You know, don't fuck with the car. You have Nicholas Cage, which he doesn't really have much dialogue, but in the background you see, oh yeah, that's Nicholas Cage. And like I said, the, there are some chuckles, mainly from Spicoli, like when him and Forrest Whitaker's younger brother, they they take Forrest Whitaker's car, and one thing leads to another, and they crash it. And the brother is like, oh my god, my brother's gonna kill us. Man, when he finds it, he's gonna shit. Make up your mind, dude. Is he gonna shit or kill us? <laughs> so that's what I mean. Sean Penn, his goofy surfer, wasted demeanor. It's such a great contrast to what you would see Sean Penn do in a variety of years. Whether it be you know, Casualties of War. Whether it be, you know, you pit the film. The, the variety of movies he's done. Uh, yeah, it's sad, though. It, just, he played it fairly well. It would have been nice to see him do this. Doesn't have to be the same character, but to let loose every once in a while in the years afterward. Because he's definitely the, the bright spot of the film, as was well Judge Reinhold. Phoebe Tate's, you know, the scene with her and Jennifer Jason Lee, where she's te teaching Jennifer Jason Lee how to give a blowjob with a tarot. <laughs> You know, there's, like, Phoebe Cates, the thing you remember about her character is dealing with sex. I mean, to be honest, the the two scenes you remember is her taking her top off and her with the tarot. There's really not much to her character. And Phoebe Cates is a good actress, I mean, whether it be in Gremlins. Like, I would say Gremlins, even though she has a smaller screen time, you could argue there's more to her character even just the one story about her dad dying at Christmas but here again the titties great scene care blowjob sexy <laughs> but if you were to say oh there's much about her character not really that's what I mean like if after the masturbation scene if you had maybe a story where Phoebe Tate's looked at and then they would bring a different dynamic because she's best friends with Judge Reinhold's sister, played by Jennifer Jason Lee. So she's thinking about, she's friends with this girl, but then she starts thinking about her brother, Judge's character. And then Judge's character had just been dumped. So you think that's where the movie's going to lead to, and it never brings it up. So I thought that was a bit weird. It's directed by Amy Heckerling, who would go on to work on... Wayne's World and uh, her direction is fine I believe she did Wayne's World I could be wrong on that but the direction this is fine great use of a soundtrack you got Tom Petty Oingo Boingo the Go-Go's the Cars I mean it starts with we got the beat they got the beat yeah they got the beat And the, the acting is natural. There's a natural demeanor to the actors. I didn't feel anyone was off, poorly acting, hamming it up. 
they all seem natural what they were trying to do. I think that is part of the appeal of Fast Times Richmond High is these actors being natural and what their their characters are supposed to be. And like I said, I don't mind the guy who's the stealth who's stealth and tickets and Jennifer Jason Lee and but I'm just saying I would not have minded if we saw less of that and more of Spicoli. Like, other than being in class and the little bit with the car, you don't see him a whole lot outside of school. I mean, they bring up the mall because that's where some of these characters work. I'm trying to figure, like, maybe show Spicoli more at the mall. Maybe an early version of Mall Rats where him and these guys just hang out at the mall and do whatever. I don't know, I just... Like you said, I like the film, but just something about where I don't love. Again, the whole, like Jennifer Jason Lee and that whole storyline, the actors are fine, but I would say they're the least interesting parts to me in the movie. I did Phoebe Cates, she's beautiful. I just, I just wish there was more to her character. Judge Reinhold and Sean Penn, I would say those are the best parts and the soundtrack of the best parts of the movie. But even, again, Judge Reinhold, there's really not a whole lot to his character if you look into it. It's just, I got fired, I did another job, I quit, I did another job at the end, it gets robbed, I throw coffee in his face, I go be made manager. That's really his character is the job portion. And yeah, the way the credits are where they tell where what happened to each person... I, it's a little bit underwhelming. Like the big thing for Judge Reinhold. He became manager of Mighty Marts. Uh, Jennifer Jason Lee. She's going out with this guy. But they haven't gone all the way. Okay. Phoebe Tates. Oh she went to college. And is with her abnormal professor. And I went. Was that ever brought up before? That she had an inkling for her professor? Was that ever brought up before? Because I didn't notice anything. And Spicoli, like, he saved Brooke Shields, but then he spent all the money on something really stupid. As I would tell you, I can see Spicoli doing that. Yeah, again, it got some chuckles out of me, mainly from Sean Penn's character. I don't mind the way it's filmed, that early 80s look and feel to it. You know, the mall, seeing remnants of the mall, the arcades, the food courts. Nostalgic because malls are a dying breed. Malls are pretty much extinct. They're pretty much extinct. Although, if I want to watch this type of comedy, I would just rather watch Mall Rats. Or clerks. Because I, I do find those films a bit funnier. Compared to this. But yeah the cast do their jobs well. The soundtrack is fun to listen to. It's only 90 minutes long. So it doesn't overstay its welcome. So overall yeah decent movie. Decent flick. Don't know what else to say other than. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.